Uh, today is August 10, 2016. Mon uh, today is Wednesday, right? Now, this dog has uh, eyelid growth, uh, which we call meibomian gland. Uh, usually it usually happens in old dogs, and uh, there's some obstruction of the of the, the fat, the pores is blocked. Okay? So, you get bigger and bigger, right? How long was it? Mm. You can see from here, yeah, like, quite close up right now. About a year. Mm. Uh, the only trouble is that uh, in some dogs, as they grow bigger, the dog rocks with the paw, or there's a lot of tearing. But this dog, they, they seem to be okay. Nothing, no tearing, right? No tearing. And, uh, can you see? Okay. So, surgery is just to remove it, cut, cut the V shape uh, part, and then just uh, remove it and and then stitch up, and then uh, that will prevent the irritation of the cornea because the cornea get irritated, and then sometimes they get eye ulcers. Uh. Okay, let's see the lower part. There's a lump below as well. This is a spit, spit okay, nine, okay. spit nine year old, okay, nine year old spit. Uh, okay. A beautiful spit actually. Now uh, this lump is barely perceptible. There you see. Uh, of course, it could be a, okay, it could be a fat tumor. Uh. There is here about one centimeter, okay. uh, one centimeter, and uh, I was going to check whether it's a hernia. Where well, is a hernia? You push in, it disappeared. It disappeared in, inside. It feels like a hernia because I, I'm able to push it in. It means there's a defect in the inguinal canal, the opening. Then there's no more really. So this is a small hernia, but. Uh, if you leave it alone, it, in time to come, it might, the, the, the ring might open further and then a big, big hernia will come out. So since we are doing the eye, you might as well just go in and close up the inguinal ring, the inguinal ring. And then the teeth wise, uh, just do a light tender scaling. So three, three things done. And today is about vaccination, uh, the 9-in-1 and the uh, ProHard. Oh, okay.